Hi, my name is Farik and I'm going to explain how to clear uh, 2239 account with your region. For example, I'm taking this entity <coughs> and when we check the balance and the balance of the vendor, you can look into profile of the vendor and you can uh, check in financial the balances that are remaining uh, for example this entity is working in local currency their base currency is TRY and the region sends their transmitter payments uh, in USD so at first because they were sending some transmittals to other CCC via their region they are uh, they sent some in their local currency transmittals but the region when it processes transmittal payments it um, it pays in dollars so we need to reconcile 22 39 in different currencies so at first i process bill payment the way you do it, you uh, open a bill payment, you type your region, uh, you put cash in transit in, in your local currency, and you check all of the transactions that are applied um, in here and you need to apply and also credit is the ones that uh, usually got paid but here the payment was for 397,660 TRY and uh, I switched it uh, I checked it all made sure that uh, my balance is okay and uh, I just process the bill payment via cash and transit in local currency. So what I need to do now is when I open USD account, here I choose the same uh, pay vendor and I choose this time account uh, trans uh, cash in transit in USD because region is paying in USD but there is amount of minus 53 for 1446 and this is actually the best way it would always be to uh, check these balances that they match with USD and what I did what I need to do now if I pro if I try to process this bill payment, I just to two thirty nine account. Um, it will say that it's not able to pay because the amount is negative. So what I need to do because I paid the other one, I need now to make a deposit. And I need to put I choose cash and transit in USD and I say I need to make payment receive payment from vendor of my region put the amount and I choose account to do the amount I 
it. Because my base currency is, um, because my base currency is TLY and USD is not my base currency, I would prefer to put here Forex. Why? Because when there will be a reconcil uh, reconciliation, it will help. So, now I have this and I accept the payment as June 30th because we close the year. It's best to process this right after you receive your transmittal payment. So I add this and I save it. What I just did, I deposited money. Into it. But the best way, if I'll check GL impact, it does not, this amount is much bigger. So the best way is to Adjust the exchange rate according to your balance. That was in there. The deposit is. I need to take this amount and adjust the exchange rate for this amount. Okay. And I just save it. So that I would have the same balance right here. Yep. So now I go back to my bill payment and I just update. Just doing that so that Now my balance is should be zero. Yep, and zero because my transaction appeared. And I also put the same exchange rate that was there. Or you can use exchange rate. Uh, for the third, it really doesn't matter. It's, yeah, you, you can use the exchange rate that was on the third. It's because the payment would be zero anyway. And I also put Forex, even though it doesn't matter. But it might help me to reconcile it if it will go into my non RC. And that's how you do it. The next step would be to process the transfer. Why do I need to do that? Remember, I made payment of this from my Turkish uh, cash in transit in TNY and here I deposited this amount into my USD because if you if your uh, if your entity is worth at uh, base currency is USD then you don't have to use two different cash in transit in different currencies but if your um, cash in transit is in uh, if your entity is in your base currency of your national currency, then 
you will see it's past single payment. And then you would have to use two different accounts. So when we go to transfer, I say I need to uh, from the USD, I need to put money into JLI. And I need to put this amount basically what I deposited fifty three or hundred twenty six twelve and make it this way so that my balance would be zero on both accounts and that's it so i just reconcile it Now it's zero and zero, and my dependent has been processed, and I can check the balance sheet. This is my twenty-two. Same thing you would do with um, with twelve thirty nine. So my cash in transit is eight thousand forty eight. And I need to check why. I can just open a oops. Oh, I'm sorry, I went into the wrong account. Yeah, because my cash and transit both accounts are zero now, so they're not shown here. And that's it. Thank you very much.